Good evening, Planet Earth. Lieutenant Obvious reporting. Welcome to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So we're here in Kakariko Village. After having talked to Impa, and we learned a whole bunch of stuff. So essentially, we talked to Impa, and she told us all about the four, div four divine beasts, which are spread all the way throughout Hyrule. I don't have them actually marked on the map right now, but essentially, they're all around the map, and it seems like that is the main objective for the game if you want to do this game for completeness. Before we... Now, also in a previous episode, before we arrived at Kakariko Village, we um, had acquired a horse from the Dueling Peak Stable, and that's this horse, which was right here. Where'd he go? Where'd she go? I call her Bay. <laughs> that was my name for her, because um, I just simply hadn't um, been able to... Or I hadn't heard, like, what her actual name is. She was a tamed wild horse. But I literally cannot find her. Which Oh, there she is. <laughs> that was a little bit unexpected. Actually, I remember that the moment I had started this segment, I was staring right at her. <laughs> and then I got a little bit lost. But anyway, so we acquired the horse after a little sub-game with one of the NPCs. Um, there was a shrine that we went to. Uh, you want to talk to me? Got something to say? Olkin, Olkin, that is familiar. I think that might be where the pumpkin... I think it might be where the, the person raves, raises the pumpkins? Ha! It's rare to see such a young lad like you in a village like this. Silence. You are not part of the Yiga clan, are you? Since I have no idea what the Yiga clan is, probably not. <laughs> More awkward silence. Ha! I'm just pulling your leg. You look so serious, I couldn't help but goad you a bit. Uh, considering that I had no idea who you're talking about, I'm not really all that concerned. <laughs> we call those who swear allegiance to Calamity Gal Galen. Calamity Ganon, the Yiga clan. Mm. They, well, let's just say they don't take kindly to those who would stand against Ganon. Okay? Guess that'd be good to know. It seems they're active again ever since that big earthquake the other day. Earthquake? But don't worry, I don't think you're part of that awful Yiga clan. I can figure that much out just by looking at you. Okay. But don't hold it. Please don't hold it against me. Take this in exchange. You're going to give me something? <laughs> I got a fortified pumpkin. Awesome. Okay, so... I remembered from the previous episode speaking to um, someone... Actually, no, it might have been somebody from the village. Um, who... I think it's the... The woman who owns the grocery store, or like that supermarket who grows all the vegetables, and this is her estranged husband, who just grows pumpkins. Or I might be slightly wrong on that, but anyway, got a fortified pumpkin. An extremely tough pumpkin raised in village fields. When cooked, that toughness manifests itself by considerably upping defense. <laughs> Fortified, fortified pumpkins are Kakariko Village's specialty. I put my heart and soul into every one of them. They are delicious. Totally delish. If you want more, I can give you some. Just stop by the fields and say hello. Okay. What are you doing at the middle of the night? It's not the middle of the night. It's like it's like 7 o'clock. Look, there's still... It's not really night, is it? As for me, the first step to achieving great defense is training your legs. That's why I'm running at this hour. Uh, you're not running. Training is the best way to learn a secret art of defense, after all. Mm. Secret art? You've piqued my curiosity. Tell me more, sir. Long ago, a wise master known simply as the Swordsman was enshrined right in this village, no less. You're pointing to something... Uh, sir, I've already completed that. It is said that if you overcome his trial, you will master the secret art of defense. Okay. However, no one knows exactly what this trial entails. That is why I must stay vigilant with my training so that I am ready whenever this trial presents itself to me. Um. Alright, fair enough. You know, man, I'm not, I'm not gonna burst his... I'm not gonna burst his bubble. Let's see what this sign says. Whoa. What does this sign say? Melly's Plum Garden, no trespassing. Um, I won't burst that guy's bubble to tell him that I've already completed it and I've already mastered all the secret moves. Just tell him, yes sir, you just go on growing those 
Delicious pumpkins. Well, I don't know if they're delicious yet. Haven't tried them yet. You know what is delicious is these apples here. Which I plan on taking. There's some more of them up there. I don't want to chop down the tree. I think that's a little bit excessive. Ah. I wonder if I can... In the previous games, you could roll forward and you could... You could okay, I don't want to chop it down. Will that bring the apple down? <laughs> That's exactly what I didn't want to do. I did not want to chop the tree down, but I guess I'll take it. Didn't want to use up my woodcutter's axe, but it looks like I used up that one instead. Oh well, that's the uh, that's the pleasure of using of having a live show or like a live episode. Let me just start. <laughs> and I'm using up fire arrows. Okay, I'm kind of a hot mess right now. Let's um let's get back let's get back to being organized. So don't want to use up any more fire arrows. I have that equipped. That special guardian guardian sword, and then this. Sheikah shield, which is pretty awesome. Woo! I just felt like throwing the chicken. I believe this is the... I believe this is the... Oh, it's a carrot patch. Okay. Oh! Oh, it's you! What do you need? I saw... I saw that. I don't know what you... I don't know what I saw, but I saw it. <laughs> Seems... I caught you. Caught you doing what? I could never get along with Steen, no matter how hard I tried. Is that your wife? Even when we'd go hunting together, I'd slowly crouch down to get close to our prey, but he'd just charge in yelling. Okay, I'm assuming that's not your wife. <gasps> Offense is killing, that's what he'd bellow, annoyed at the tar annoyed the tar out of me. Needless to say, our prey always ran. On top of that, he just refuses to sell my pumpkins in his shop. <sighs> but, my, what have I done? I'm just so mortified. <clears throat> But being caught in the act makes me realize what I've become. As of today, I'll stop taking my anger out on the crops. Is that what you're doing? You're kicking all the vegetables? Okay, I w I'm going to legitimately have to <laughs> check the footage. What splendid carrots? Looks like someone's gone to great lengths to grow them. I really have no idea what just happened with that conversation. I'm actually going to have to literally check the footage to see what he was talking about, because I didn't see him do anything. Um, looks like I just found some snails, though. That's interesting. I will say... Get another snail. I will say, man, I am loving the graphics. Like, look at this water. The transparency of the water, and then just, like, going through that... The water flowing through that little, um, that little channel right there. Man, this is gorgeous. I mean, yeah, fine, Nintendo Wii may not have the computing capability of, like, a PlayStation 4, like, a high, super high-end PC. But, as far as I'm concerned, the animations are fluid. There's lots of detail, even down to those, like, blades of grass on the, on the ground there, so... I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I just <laughs> walked into someone's house. Um... <laughs> should I wake up? Should I wake up this guy? Seems to be seems to be sleeping kind of peacefully. Yeah. <laughs> wakey, wakey! I am such a dick. Oh, that's a woman. I thought that was a guy. I'm an even bigger dick. I thought that was a woman. Melly, yeah, yeah, I'm still alive. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay, so she must she must be the lady with the plum patch. Huh? Oh, sorry. I thought you were my old Olkin. My breath is so shallow when I sleep. Sometimes my Olkin gets worried and wakes me up. I don't know what it is about men constantly worrying. Well, now I'm completely awake. I like how the um, how even Nintendo's in a 20, 21st century slang. Welp with the P. That's it? Okay. Uh, sorry to wake you up. Sorry, okay, you don't really have anything interesting here, so. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, Melly. Sorry about that. What is this? Torch? Okay. <laughs> I'll just take their torch. Love that about Zelda. You can just go into people's houses, wake them up, break pots, 
and suffer no consequences. Speaking of pots, here are some. <laughs> oh, I got some arrows. Nice! See, see, kids? Breaking stuff is useful. So I think it's just normal people's homes, huh? <laughs> oh, you're paying me a visit? That's sweet of you. Actually, no, I just, I just kind of barged in your house without knocking. You know, I used to really love the night. At night, the world sparkles and shines in an almost magical way. It's beautiful. Oh, and the fireflies are everywhere. I gotta admit, the fireflies do look pretty cool. Though trying to sneak up on one and chat and catch them is quite a challenge. I thought you could. I, I think I would need some kind of net in a bottle, though. <coughs> huh. Excuse me. Uh, there were times when I'd stay out so late I didn't realize morning had come. Grandmother always scolded me for that. But that's all in the past. Aww. Now, now there are monsters around the village and rumors that the Yiga clan is nearby and active. That's why I'm forced to lounge around at home at chasing the night instead of chasing the night. Sigh. I wish I could do something. Damn Ganon. Just... <laughs> Damn Ganon just like ruining everything. Oh, just waking people up. I am such a dick. I'm so sorry you traveled as far as to see me in this state. If only I'd heeded my mentor's warning. Uh, don't know what you're talking about, but okay. I may look frightful, but is there something I can do for you? Yeah, tell me about your mentor. I don't know what you're talking about. My mentor used to work closely with Princess Zelda in her research of that Sheikah Slade. Go to the research facility in Hatino Village, located to the east of here. However, um... Just know that this mentor of mine is a bit odd. Okay, so she's referring to the guy in the research center in Hateno Village. Okay. Yeah, you told me about the fireflies. But okay, sorry to wake you up. Have a good night's sleep. Alright, so I'm pretty sure there's lots of... What is this? Farming hoe. So you can do farming in this game? It's it. So this is a farming tool primarily used for tilling fields. Its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand backbreaking field work, but its battle applications are untested. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use a, a backhoe. To, oh, I can't. Oh. Whoops. Wrong button. Um, so I can't carry anything else, but that's fine. Okay, I'll get rid of this club. And I'll pick up the hoe instead. I... That's probably the first and only time I'll ever say that sentence out loud. Good thing my mother's not listening. Um... Can I do some... Can I do some hoeing of this field? Oops. So I have the hoe equipped. Can I actually, like, use it and stuff? No, not to swing at people, but... Maybe not? Okay, no, I don't want to waste arrows. Guess throw it at the ground? Okay. So I think the farming hoe is not meant for actual farming. It's used for self-defense. Not quite sure how... You're still here? Still saw that. Caught me again. Jeez, man. You just never learn. You never learn. Alright, so... I think that's enough goofing around. What's over here? Who's there? What'd I do? What did I do? Sorry to interrupt, but... This plum garden is very special to my wife. Please be considerate of that. Dude, you were desecrating the carrot patch. <laughs> and I just dare to step in the plum patch. Okay, dude, you are just... You are a total hypocrite. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're going to kick me out again. 
You, sir, are a total hypocrite. I'm sorry. I'm done with you. Not done with you, they. So don't, um... Don't escape on me. Honestly, I think I've pretty much done and seen everything I can here in the village so far. So I'm just gonna... Just ready to move on. So now what I believe my next step would be... Hold on, let me just see how I can... Okay, whoa. How do I get out of here? How can I exit this village? Is that... Is that the right path over there? Possibly. So let's go on along the left. Not that way. To the left. There we go. To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. All right. Got it. Let's get up to a light trot. Get ourselves out of here. Um, so I think the next step is to go to that Hatano village. I'm going to start calling it Hatano instead of Hatino. Because reasons. Um, can you go through here? Slowly. Okay, now turn around. I bet this is really captivating, captivating entertainment for all you guys. Watch me navigate a horse through like a tiny ass corridor. Um, I believe this is the... Okay. Now hold on. I believe that is the exit to the right. Although, one thing I wanted to check is that if you... If you go forward and continue on this path, you can get out... To, you can get out to the edge of the... You can get to the edge of the um, map here. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna label that in red. And then see if there's... Maybe I'll label that in blue or something. So I'm going to see if I can simply just follow this path through the village. Ah, what's wrong, button? So I'm going to follow this path through the village. And then see, like, what... What I can find at, at the end of the line there. See if there's anything interesting or worth seeing. So it's this way? Yeah, okay, so you go up. Oh, great, so you go past... So you go past the shrine. Oh, okay, I remember this from the last video. So, the shrine should be there to my right. And then I remember... I remember there was a path... Past the shrine over here. And I didn't go here, so... Alright, come on. You can do it. Oh wait, I'm not going the right way. Never mind. Well, there is... Okay. Okay. Whoa. Let's see. Am I going the right... Am I going in the right direction? No, I'm not. Okay, so I left the path. Need to go back towards the village. Now, there is stuff over here, but that's completely unrelated to what I'm looking for now. So, alright. My bad. head back to where I think we should have been. The person here. What do you have to say? Mommy's hiding, but I'll find her. What? <laughs> um, good luck, I guess. Uh, sorry about your mother. Hope you find her. Okay, so it looks like I need to keep going right. Okay, so here's the here's the road. Another beautiful day. Oh. Oh. Stupid horse. Okay, let's go back. So you go past Impa's house. And off to the left. All right. I'm having a little bit of issues with the controls. I'm not quite sure if this is a, due to the fact that this is a wild horse, or she's not like quote unquote my horse. But yeah, see, for example, like I'm trying to go in a straight line, and then she keeps on veering off to to the right or to the left. So. That's the reason for that. Oh, and, and that was completely freaking ridiculous. Alright. Dude. 
There's no reason for Bay to just like walk straight into the into the rock wall there. But okay, so we're just about approaching. We're dude, why do you keep turning? Is it the wind? Actually, let's whoa. Who's this guy here? Let's see who this guy is and see what he has to say. If I can freaking turn around. Okay. Rick. Hey, Rick! I'm worried about the farmers in Kakariko Village. They grow pumpkins and carrots. It's sort of their specialty, but I hear there's a little war going on between them. Okay. And that's it? Okay, that was not that interesting. But, thanks for the info, I guess. I guess now I'm fully in tune to the... Uh, to the farming conflicts of the village. Looks like I'm about to reach the summit here. And my horse is getting really hard to control. I don't understand what the... What her issue is. But okay, let's get up here. And... Huh, it's a good view. There's... There's a castle ahead of us. Oh, some more horses. <coughs> Does my horse want to be back with her kind? Don't know. But okay. I guess there's nothing really interesting to see here. <laughs> Aside from more horses. Okay, that's it. I'll let you go back to your friends later. So that's... I wonder if that's why my horse is getting hard to control. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Or maybe she just needed soothing. It's okay, it's okay. Ah, oh, I think I think my horse is getting pissed off at me. So maybe that's it. Okay, so for example, I'm not hitting the controller right now, but then she just veers off to the right. Maybe that has something to do with the camera. Where are you running off to? Oh, that's Rick again. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Rick. <laughs> Poor Rick. Poor Rick got trampled on. Okay. Gonna have to slow down as soon as you make it into the village here. Whoa. Whoa there. Now they... Okay, so let's cruise past Impus House. And then back the other way. Yeah. yeah, no thanks. It's okay, it's okay. Aren't you? Okay, hold on. That looks kind of suspicious over there. That rock. Looks awfully suspicious. Can it be bombed? Let's find out. Hope it doesn't freak out the horse. <laughs> okay, the horse cannot have cared less. But it looks like neither... It looks like the rock could not care less about the bombs either. So, okay, just gonna carry on. Just wanted to note, for the record, everybody, that I noticed there was something up with that rock over there, but apparently I do not possess the technology to... Break it open. Fair enough. Let's keep venturing forward then. And looks like I am done with Kakariko Village, so let's move on with the quest. Hope you all enjoyed the stay. I certainly enjoyed the stay myself. And actually, I'm pretty sure I'll be heading back at least a couple of times. All right. So now we have a little bit of an open area here. Who are you? Raka. I think I met her over by the stable. Uh -huh. Ooh, yikes. I'm sorry. I was having such a beautiful daydream. And I was completely zoned out. Thinking about rubies and sapphires. Hmm. I think I might have some rubies and sapphires. Those two gems can be sold at really high prices. They're some of the best gems to sell for serious money. <laughs> Sorry, I just got so carried away when it comes to gems. I think I had that same conversation with her at the stable. So that's just a repeat. Oh, froggy. Ribbit, ribbit. 
Okay, then there were these blocks here. Just don't seem to... Just don't seem to uh, lead to anything. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come on, let's go a little faster now. I'll be nice and gentle with you. Okay, so there's a stable out there. Whoa, don't be jumping off any cliffs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I don't think... I don't think she liked that. It's okay, it's okay. You know, this reminds me... There were actually a couple side quests I could have done before making it to the Hatena village. You know what? Okay, just uh, stay right there. That's just a bottomless chasm. Let's not... Let's not fall into there. It's not bottomless, but... It's a high up chasm. Now, this guy had some maracas that he was missing. Hestu, I did not. Okay. Um, what I'll do... Wrong button. What I'll do is... Um, can you go to the side quest? have a whole bunch of extra stuff, which I'm not going to get to quite yet. Priceless maracas. So... This is something that I learned about the last episode. So the forest, spirits he the forest spirit Hestu has asked you to retrieve the maracas that were stolen from him by a group of monsters camping nearby. So he claims that he's unable to use his vast powers without them. Now, I think those are... Right? Oh, that's, a sh that's pointing to Hestu. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe that these monsters were just like right here. Right in this alcove here. Right? Yep, there they are. Okay. Assholes. How dare you steal poor Hestu's maracas. There are only two of them? It's three. Oh yeah, you... Fine, you go dance. You have no idea what's about to happen to y'all. Nope, don't want to do that. I want to aim the arrow. Get a nice headshot going. Right in the kisser. Whew, this is a good sword. Want a piece of this? You kick yourself at me? Did I just die? You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. I died. <laughs> okay, I was a little bit overconfident there. Not the best fighter yet. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Okay, so where am I going to respawn? Okay, right here. Good enough. Fair enough. Um, this is going to be the case. I think I'm going to... Um, repair my health a little bit. So... Baked apple will give me three quarters of a heart. I'll take it. Actually, what about... Have myself an apple. So... I believe I still have my weapons. Okay, so essentially this is right where I was right before the battle. Don't want to, don't know if I want to use a bomb arrow with those guys. Just regular arrows and then my Sheikah shield. You know what I might do though? Oops. Oh, surprise. Alright. Didn't like that. Oh, okay. Whack and whack. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so I wonder if those are the maracas. Oh, what are you? Are you like a fairy? 
I saw something shiny, like, come out of there, something pink, and that... I think that was it, but... Must have lost it. Oh, well. So, I got some fangs, some useless... Weapons I'm not gonna use. Guts. Ugh. Horn. What's this over here? Fang. Alright, whatever. I guess you're good just for selling... Selling and selling for money gets some extra income, but it's over here. Some more fangs, spear, whatever. Don't care. Anything up there? Don't know. These are most likely the maracas. If not, they're probably some. I, I'm hoping there's some pretty cool weapon. Hester's maracas. He's been shaking them since he was. Two years old. Now, why do they keep him in a chest? Kind of strange. Anything else here worth seeing? Oh, I'm about to lose my guardian sword, which is a shame. Nice mountain area. Tower in the background. Tower in the distance here. I'm thinking that tower is over by the Hateno Village. Shrine. Actually, I wonder if that's a Hateno Village right there. Out there in the distance. I wonder if that structure on the top with the smoke coming out of it, if that is the research lab. It's a peak which I'm probably not going to be able to climb to the top of. But yeah, I'm guessing that's Hateno with a... With a shrine over there. And there's another tower that I'll be able to activate on my way over. So, it's a good goal. For the immediate future. Or for the short term future. The immediate future. Is. But, my returning of these precious maracas. To Mr. Hestu. Boogood. I think I talked to you. Um, I think I talked to you earlier in town, but I might sell some stuff. What can I sell to you? Um, hmm. Eight rupees each for these fangs? Sure. Actually, I need to learn how to start making elixirs, but in the meantime, yeah, five, not that big of a deal. Three, two... Okay, besides that, not a whole lot, but... Take a little bit of extra cash. Oh, it's got another fang. Or a horn, rather. You attacking... <laughs> what was that all about? It's okay, little buddy. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Shalakala! Those are... Those are my maracas! Please give them to me. Are you going to play me a little number now? <laughs> nice. Oh, what? Okay. What's wrong with your precious maracas? The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now? Oh, lame. If I just had one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. Oh, okay. So you are going to be very useful to me. I'm glad I got those maracas for you. Now, I have no idea where I get Korok seeds, though. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. Children of the forest? I thought I'd... I'd I never thought I'd be a target of one of their pranks. Shoko. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. It's going to be okay. Do I have a Korok seed? Yeah, I thought I did. You got a Korok seed in front of the forest children. Oh, I think this is when I tossed that boulder into that circle of rocks inside the lake. And then remember I, I saw that Korok just come up and then give me something and he gave me a Korok seed? This might have been it. If you give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. Yes, please. Shalaka! 
Boom shakalaka. All right, weapon stash, definitely. Oh yeah, he's a Kool Aid man. Shaki shala, shaka. Done. Na 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 na. Okay, I wish he would have expanded it by more than by more than one slot, but good to know your weapon sash has been expanded. Shalaka. I'll be here for a little while, so if you find more Korok seeds, bring them to me. Sweet. So I wonder then. When you're in the Korok seeds that you found, he allowed you to carry more things. So, like, are Korok seeds something you just find anywhere? I'm assuming there's more. Alright, so I don't have any more Korok seeds, but, uh, okay, I'm really glad I did that side quest, because... I could really use some more inventory. Not so much for armor and for bows, but definitely for weapons. By the way, so I believe I saw the Hateno village. So I have something to work for. At the same time though, as we're going past the stables, because we are going to be... It's okay, it's okay. As we go by the stables, I believe there was another... What's over there? Actually, hold on. See some shiny stuff over here. These like flowers and mushrooms. Amaranth. This tough, this tough medi medi nah. this tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your defense when cooked into a dish. Okay. Looks like there's some more flowers over here too. Hyrule herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. All right, and I believe there's another one here. Yes, please. Got some nice, excellent herb. Kind of to cook it or smoke it. Yeah, probably not. Okay, see some more shiny stuff in the distance to the right there. So let's yah ourselves over. See what's over here. Whoa, whoa. Dismount. What is this? Okay, some more mushrooms. That's something that can be bombed. Oh, damn it. <laughs> that was a mistake, but at least I'm getting some... At least I'm getting some um, valuable items out of it. And if you come all the way down here, there's some more plants. Something else like a bomb. Let's not blow myself up. Okay, give me all the things. Flint, amber. Don't quite know the the um, elixir and medicinal qualities of all these things, but I at least know that I can get some pretty decent money for the rocks, so... I'm happy about that. Now before I get back on my high horse, I'm gonna not blow myself up again. But I'm going to, whoops. Gonna just have a quick meal. So I'm not pretty much right about to die. Fruit and mushroom mix, meat skewer. Okay, three hearts. Nom nom nom. All right. Now I feel better. So it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, little little girl. Let's keep on going forward. You are my partner in crime, at least for the time being. Is there a person here? Hey! Whoa! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I totally botched that. I meant to hit the button. I meant to hit the button so I would say how I would uh, so I would um, hit L and A, and I think I just hit A instead. 
This is a random guy called Traveler. I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? Y maybe. That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? Uh-oh. Yiga uh -huh. clan? What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The, Le the Yiga clan, it's... <laughs> it's a powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to, to defeating a hero thought long dead. Mm -hmm. I will take your life. What the hell? What the hell? Like a boss battle. Shit. Okay. I have no idea what just happened or what's going on right now. And I'm not really in the mood to... I'm not really in the best condition to fight a boss. But fortunately, I have a bunch of health with me. And I'm allowed to eat food without this guy getting all over my nuts. So, so that's good. Now, what I am concerned about, though, is the fact that my sword is kind of on its last legs. And besides that, my best weapon is the farming hoe and a spear. Okay, not looking good. Okay, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. Shit. Alright, so... By the way, I'm low in health again? Jeez. Um... I think a, I think a bunch of his attacks are taking... Take three... Um, take three hearts of health, so it's kind of pointless for me to... Just get up to three hearts. I'm going to have to refill... Have to refill all the way. So I think um, have that meat and then this meat here is going to bring me back, back up to full health. Okay. Did I get him? Green rupee, blue rupee, five rupees. And some bananas. Mighty bananas. This fruit grows mainly in tropical forests of the Farron region. When it's used as an ingredient, the resulting dish will temporarily increase your attack power. Okay. Okay, so a couple questions there. I got a weapon. Vicious Sickle. Nice. Okay. I was hoping to get myself a better weapon. Now, this is a Yi clan. Okay, this is a huge problem for me. I keep hitting L instead of ZL. So this is the button that I want to... This is a button that I want to hold down, like this, um, or to press, is ZL, so I can do the Z targeting. Did my horse run away? No, my horse is over there. Thank God. Alright, so that was completely unexpected. Glad I survived. I was... Honestly, like, I was... If I did not have all that food on me... I would not have had very good odds. Mainly because I was not expecting a fight like that. But okay, let's head back to the... Let's head back towards the stable. Head back to Kakariko Village. Okay, so I've been I've been introduced to the Yiga clan. So the Yiga clan are probably... Are, seem to be very bad dudes who have aligned themselves to Ganon. Whoops. Okay, that was another person who I intended to talk to. He has kind of cruised by. So it's like I have to whoa a little bit before I can... Oh, this is broken again. Never mind. I've already talked to you like twice. You have nothing else to say to me. 
I think I spotted something over here. No, I didn't. But actually, okay, so what I was going to say before I ran into that traveler is that over by the stable, there's another side quest, and it has to do with uh, treasure. So let's see if I if I can get my bearing straight here. Okay, so go back to the go back to the stable, and then there were these guys who look for who were kind of looking for treasure, and they were alluding to something. Back in this stable here. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, there you go. Good girl, good girl. Alright. Hmm. Take some free apples. Whole bunch of goodies here. Apple, wood, just a pitchfork. Farmer's tool used to collect hay efficiently. It's light enough to be used by anyone. The four prongs are very sharp. Okay. Actually, that's probably going to be a whole lot more useful than the torch, so I'm going to ditch the torch. I already have two of them anyway. Pick up the pitchfork. Hey, little doggy. Alright. That's a woodcutter's axe, which I... Actually, I could probably just get rid of... I already have a woodcutter's axe anyway. Never mind. Um, so I want to remind myself of the side quest for the treasure. Whee! So side quest for Misko the Great Bandit. A treasure hunter's Domadak in prison accidentally hinted at a riddle that points to the location of treasure hidden by Misko the Great Bandit. The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests above that river's source. Uh, you know what? Okay, I think what I'm going to do is um, head over to Hateno Village and then worry about that later. Who are you again? That's Hino. I already talked to Hino. We've already had enough boring side action for one episode, so let's... So I think... Oh, there's my horse. So I think, I think we can just continue with the plot. Move the story along, you know. That was really creepy. <laughs> okay, that was really creepy. Like, uh, a nice piece of meat just came by. I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that. Actually, I'm going to... I'm going to go by very quickly so that guy doesn't, like, um... Moan at me creepily again. Alright, so in order to get to Hateno, I go right here, and then I have to enter this region. Which I need to... What I need to do is to... Activate the marker for this, and then go back to the map. And I go back to the map, zoom in. I think I probably... Okay, those two markers have been erased anyway, and it's kind of head kind of head due east, and then I'll run into the village. Now, what I'm definitely thinking is that I'll have to climb that tower, and climb that climb that tower that I've been that I've been spotting, get to the top of it, activate it, and then I would essentially light up this entire region right here, so I'd have. More, speci more specific information how I would get to that point. Okay. So I'll keep going until I reach the fork in the road. There's a yellow object there that gets my attention, but no, it's like a platform. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, this horse is getting pretty hard to control. As much as I'm starting to get like an emotional attachment to, to my bay here... This keeps up. Whoa, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
Hey, I have a fellow traveler on a horse. Who are you, and what do you have to say? My eyes are so tired? Toma! Actually, I met a guy named Toma. Uh, my favorite part about traveling is finding new fashions in the place you visit. I love discovering new looks. Fashion? Uh, the world's about to end and all you can think about is fashion. Okay. Like, like, if you keep up, if you keep taking this path north, you'll wind up in Kakariko, Kakariko Village. They have some of my favorite clothes there. Been there, done that. I'd be there right now if I hadn't blown my last few rupees on this stunning neckerchief. Mm, does look stunning, though. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so that tower right there. Oh, sorry. I don't have time for you. Just don't have time. But okay, that tower ahead of me, that is my next destination. I'm going to try not to get too distracted, but if I get ambushed again, like that. Yeah, I just take a seat. <laughs> I will collect whatever whatever items you have on you. Just a club. Okay, lame. Are there more of them? Okay, there's a guy behind me. Oh, you're just dead. Okay, you're just a skeleton. No big deal. Oh. Take a seat. Uh, I don't really want to waste my... Don't really want to waste my time on these skeletons. Huh. That's funny, blowing them up. Okay, so... Let's just get back on our horse and keep going. To pick up a mushroom, though. Okay, so there's an encampment. Let's just check, though. Is there... Is there a treasure chest? Yeah, there is. You know, I think given the fact that they're all sleeping... I'm gonna try it out, so... I wonder if this... grass here gives me cover. Which I can probably run. He's looking the other way, and then once he turns around... Duck and cover! Okay. Oh, did they all wake up? Why did they wake up? I mean, I feel pretty confident because I have a pretty good weapon now. I could slice them all to bits, but... It would have been cool to take them out while they're... Still sleeping. And it's rainy, too. Let's take this guy, shoot him in the head. Boom! And his comrades didn't even notice. Didn't notice his uh, screams of agony. I would actually get a really good position if I can make it to the top of here. And start sniping everybody from this platform. Have they noticed me yet? Still no. How about a bomb arrow? How about a bomb arrow? I'm only going to use one because they're rare, but... This should be good. What? Oh, I didn't... Oh, it has to be lit. Why didn't it explode? Oh, shit. Okay, well, I think they're all... They're on me now. Hey, gonna snipe them all. Boom. But you haven't noticed. That's good. I'm okay with that. Okay, blue ones take a lot of arrows to get to go down. And there's one more over there. I think the red ones can be sniped just in one shot. Can I make it from this distance? Let's see. Nope. 
short. Oh, I did get him. Nice. Okay, who else wants him? I used up a lot of arrows. I'm still pretty... Oh, one more over there. Okay, if you're on a freaking... If you're on a freaking tower, how did you not see me to slaughter all of your comrades? Right behind you. You deserve an arrow in the face. Uh, except that his whiff there and he didn't notice. There we go! <laughs> wow. You guys... You guys sure are incompetent. <laughs> Opal. Nice. Okay, that should get me... That should get me a good amount of cash. Now I'm freaking soaking wet. Ooh, soldier shield. The shield once used by the guards of Hyrule Castle. It's easy to handle, but its core... But its core is made of wood, so we can catch fire. Is this a... Okay, I'm actually getting some good weapons. Um, okay, definitely getting rid of this terrible-ass shield. I'm actually getting rid of all these shields here. I'll pick up the soldier's shield, and as for the weapons... I guess I don't need a second torch. Actually, I can get rid of the traveler's sword. Let's see what else I can pick up. Just a club I don't care about. Shield I don't care about. We have a whole bunch of ruins around here. Huh? So we have some more guardians. Some more... Okay, so we have some abandoned guardians, some wild horses. Another abandoned garden, guardian over there. Now, the big... Now, the big kind of plot twist from Impa's explanation that I was not expecting was that the Guardians were actually created by Hyrule. I thought that they were created by Ganon. But no, it looks like Hyrule must have had some pretty... pretty advanced technology to create these walking behemoths with frickin' lasers attached to them. But they're automated, so... it just seems like whatever... whatever moves, it's a threat. <laughs> so I guess because I'm not wearing, like, um... a Hillian... A Hillian soldier's uniform, like it autom they automatically think that I'm a threat, or maybe they were just reprogrammed by Ganon. Don't know. Actually, there's a whole bunch of old guardians in this area here. Friggin' hope none of them come to life, or else I'm just gonna sprint and gallop away in this horse. It's okay, babe. Let's just keep going. Oh, I see a whoa. Whoa, yeah, whoa. Saw something shiny over here, and I keep frickin' hitting the wrong button. What's this green thing here? It's another mushroom, okay. You know what I realized, though? I can actually still go to these... I can still go to these guardians and pick something up, so... Let's do that, okay. Got a gear... Got a screw. And I'm pretty sure these will be good for something at some point. Where are the other guardians? Okay, and then the rest of them are in front of me. In front of where I left the horse. Horse should be on the other side of the tree. Yep, there she is. There's my bay. Don't worry, bay. You want to join your... You want to join your fellow horses? This helped me out a little more. Then I'd be happy to let you return. Return back and then enjoy the rest of your time with your with your buddies. Let me just pick up some more goodies here. So I got some more herb. Some good herb. Is that an apple? Oh, an arrow. Oh, okay. What else is shining? Anything else shining around here? No. Okay. Couple more guardians just to pick off their. just to scavenge them. Got a screw. Oh, there's goblins. And shoes. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, you are so done. 
Get over here. <laughs> Once again, I'm not I I'm not exactly doing this intentionally. I just keep hitting the wrong L button. That is why I end up laying so many bombs. I'm just dropping bombs all over the place, and I did it freaking again. I just can't get over the fact that the Nintendo Switch controller has two L and R buttons. That's kind of what's confusing me. I mean, I've had the Switch for about... for a couple months now, but I guess... Oh, I should mention, I'm actually playing on a Pro Controller. So that's what was different. So when I first started playing this Let's Play, this playthrough, I was actually doing it on the, the Joy-Cons that came with the system. Ancient Spring, cool. I was doing it with, I was uh, playing with the Joy-Cons that came with the system, but now I'm playing like on a Pro Controller. It's what I've been using for Mario Kart, which is the other game, Ancient Shaft, which is the other game that I own for this system, as well as Super Mario Odyssey, which I've only played like once or twice because I'm trying to get through this game, but I do own Super Mario Odyssey as well. Um... This controller here has the the location of the two L and R buttons, I guess, are slightly confusing me, so... Okay. <laughs> that horse doesn't like me, so I'm going back to bay. You obviously don't want to be tamed. You're an untamed animal. Okay. So where is my bay? Way over there. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm just kind of getting used to this uh, controller here, so it's a little bit... I wonder if that's why I'm having so much trouble. That... Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff I don't really care about, so let's get back to... Get back to my horse! Oh, you're a lovely girl. You're a lovely girl. Let's keep going, fo going forward. By the way, so speaking of going forward... Um, while I was talking about the controller, I had a view of this wall over here. Look at all these guardians. Look at this. There must have been one hell of a freaking battle here. Okay, let me check. Let me check these guys for goodies. Got a gear. I might have checked these ones already, but I'll check again. No, I didn't. Okay, ancient spring. Okay, this one. That one I checked. That one I checked. Okay. But look at that. Look at this view over here. Look at all those guardians. There has to be at least 10 of them in this shot. That is nuts. Okay, I already got... I already scavenged that one. Let's keep going. Yeah, so it looks like there must have been... Some kind of pretty intense battle here. Given the fact that there's... There's walls and a gate. Fort Hatano. Okay, so this is a fort. I saw a guy over there to my right. I'll get to him in just a second. But it's... Have some more scavenging to do. Getting screws and shafts. Couple gears. It's kind of a lucrative business. Scavenging for parts. Kind of like Ray in Star Wars. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. 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 Honestly, I should have expected that. I probably should have expected that. Oh no. So. I know that kind of. Okay, I'm just gonna back away very, very slowly. Using this one as cover. I should have freaking realized. <laughs> Alright, that, that was convenient. <laughs> I was like, why am I not moving anymore? Um, I should have figured that in a place with so many of these, there would be at least one that would, that would activate. And I have not figured out, okay, I'm just going to sprint past this guy. 
Shit. I love the tense music that comes up. Whew! Still getting chills when I run into one of those motherfuckers. By the way, there's a guy over there by my horse. Why isn't he activated this thing yet? Anyway, yes, I was saying that, um, how do you freaking see me? Yeah, so it's probably not that surprising, given all those guardians there, that there's at least one that would activate. Given that, there's probably... There might be a couple, as, another one as well. I'm gonna go frickin' as far away as I can. Hide behind this tree. And then slowly make, make my way back to the pathway. Okay, so which is the one that activates? Uh, it's, it's kind of far away. Okay. Seriously, like those things? Those things still just like cause me to piss my pants. Okay, so it's that one on the far left there. I'm gonna see if I can head up to these ones over here. Wait, what? How do you see me? Way over there. Even the music is kinda even the music kinda freaks me out a little bit. Alright, so keep scavenging, screw. This one should be scavenged, yes. Got a spring. Should be all of them. Oh, no. Gear. I think the gears are the ones that are worth the, worth the most, so that's awesome. Alright, so let's just get... Run back to the horse. It's at one of the distance there. Sprint back to the horse. Go freaking far away. And headed in the fort. So is that dude still around? Oh, it looks like he's inside the gate. Alright. Alright, horse. Yeah. Alright, I'm inside the walls. Very nice, and I believe I'm actually outside of the region. And I believe I'm outside of the region of my map, so now I'm back in uncharted territory. Hiya, my name's Gorill. Come to see Fort Hatano, I take it? That's right, that's why I came. Figured as much, it's worth well, it's well worth seeing. Fort Hatano. Here was the last line of defense between Hatano Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Okay, that would explain what all the, that would explain with all the guardians. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in life, right? Guess so. Now what are you doing exactly? Do you know the story of the warrior who fought here at Fort Hateno? No? Tell me. So a hundred years ago, we had these special warriors called champions. The warrior who fought here was supposedly one of them. I heard the others all died in the big fight. The warrior, though, some say he gave his life here, too. But others think he went into a deep sleep to prepare to fight another day. Which would mean he's still alive, right? Maybe. I wonder if I'll still be around when he wakes up. <laughs> I'd love to meet the guy. You know what? Just keep trying. I'm pretty sure you might run into him someday. You never know in life. You just never know. All right, so making our way over to the town. Honestly, town's kind of far away, so I think I'm just going to I think I might just cut it off for now. You know what? Okay, so we're at a good stopping point right here. And see someone else in a... See someone else in on horseback coming my way. We'll see what that person has to say. But, um, yeah, we 
didn't make it that far, but we're on our way to Hateno Village, and we had a pretty close encounter with the Guardian. Tried not to get my ass kicked, and fortunately avoided it, which was good. And we're gonna avoid... Well, but I did get my ass kicked by those goblins. Hmm, what to eat? Toma, I already talked to you. I was in the middle of a monologue. Jeez, so rude. Anyway, so actually I did get my ass kicked and lost a life, which was kind of embarrassing, but you know what? YOLO. I wasn't exactly I wasn't exactly prepared for that encounter, but I am prepared to uh, make it to the village. Woo! In the next episode, and then meet the mysterious guy in the research center. Hello, you're an adventurer, really? Celessa, I do not know the purpose of your journey, but there's a place I recommend you pay a visit to. Would it be the village? Deep in the rest, deep in the recesses of Mount Lanayru, lies a spring of wisdom. It is a stored spring, a storied spring, to which I am making a pilgrimage. Really? Why don't you tell me how to get there? You gonna tell me how to get there? The Spring of Wisdom at Mount Lanayru is a storied spring. You can't tell me you're not curious. Care to visit it? Uh, sure. But actually, you see that mountain up there? Okay, I'm just gonna whoa for a little bit. I could swear. Okay, no, that's just a tree. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think. I was gonna say that's where we're going in the next episode, but that clearly wasn't. That was just a tree. But I think we really should be going in the next episode. Actually, maybe that's it. Okay. That's where we're going in the next episode. That little... That building over there. And I thought there'd be a tower... Close by. I think I just need to get out of this valley here. You know what? I'm not going to... Care about this... Okay, there's a Bokoblin camp right there. Those suspiciously placed explosives in the way. What was that? Okay, who are you? Are you a are you a person? What are you doing? Traveler, sniffler, sniffle. You better not be another. You better not be another member of the Yiga clan, are you? Are you? You know what? I think I'm going to end this episode on a cliffhanger. Who is this traveler? Why is she crying? What is wrong? You'll just have to find out next time. So this is Lieutenant Obvious signing out. One day I'll make it to Captain. If you like what I'm doing, please leave a comment. I'd, be, I'd love to hear your feedback. And even better, feel free to like and subscribe. But we'll find out what happens in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.